do we think? Festival season and everything. Yeah. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, it's actually been a while since I've actually sat and done some videoing because I've done quite a bit of videoing um, in the beginning of July and I've obviously been uploading them throughout. Um, it's obviously been some holidays so it's really busy um, and I suddenly remembered, do you know what, I didn't do a favourites for the month of June and I hadn't done a favourites for July and we're now sort of heading towards mid-August. So like, I've been really naughty. So I really apologise, um, but I thought I would do a favourites video for you now. And at the end of the day, like my hubby said to me, you're not on a schedule, you can do it whenever you want really. Go be a bit different, do August specials, whatever. So yeah, I thought I would just bring to you my, my favourite products that I am using at the moment and we will call them July stroke August favourites, hates, yeah, you get the gist. Right, anyway, as you can see, I am sporting this beautiful, beautiful headband. Um, now, I've actually bought this um, as a prop for um, photography because some of you may or may not know I um, am a photographer, I have my studio, I've got the studio behind me um, with a mattress. Um, the mattress is just a temporary thing because we're just waiting for it to air because Sophia's got a new bed. I will do a video where I will show you the new furniture she's got in her bedroom because it's really cool. Um, but it's not up yet and this has to be flat for 72 hours. It's been flat but I needed to come in here so I've just laid up against my bed back wall so that I can film. Um, so anyway, yeah, I um, have a studio and one of the things that I cover in the studio is maternity photography um, and I bought this absolutely beautiful uh, maternity dress which is really, really gorgeous, very sort of whimsical um, and I bought this to go with it because it looks really, really gorgeous, it looks really nice and this cost 99p um, plus I think 99p postage, I, I don't know, but I bought this and I really, really like it. And I've actually worn this out. Um, we went to like a, um, a Zoodoo thing at Africa Alive um, back in July and I actually wore this and I, you know, I felt like I could have worn unicorn makeup and I would have fitted right in, you know. Um, but no, it was, it was quite nice. It was really, really hot. Um, it was before, obviously, this winter has set in, um, because obviously, you know, as we know these days, August is now middle of winter, you would think. Um, so, anyway, yeah, I really, really like this. I've got this off of eBay, um, and I think that's an absolute bargain, but there you go. I'm going to put this on, actually, for the rest of the video to keep my hair out of my eyes, because I just, it is like night time. And, uh, no, I don't think I'll bother. <laughs> um, it is night time, so it's the end of the day. I'm absolutely shattered. We've been out. Um, we've been to Great Yarmouth and had a meal at a restaurant called The Columbia, which is a restaurant that we haven't been to for years. And I mean years. But we went over there tonight and it was lovely. And Sophia enjoyed it. Um, and Tony Pony, who owns it, is just lovely. So, yeah. Um, anyway, right, yeah, okay, so. I mean, how many minutes are we in? We're four minutes in, we haven't even shown you a product yet. Really bad. So, we're going to do what we normally do. I'm going to show you the good products first and the crap products at the end. Um, and when I say crap products, I mean they're just not for me. I just, <clears throat> just wouldn't even bother. Um, and not just, no, I wouldn't even bother to repurchase. I won't even probably bother to finish them or to use them because they are just pants. Which is a shame, really. It really is. It really, really is. So, okay, we'll start off with the good products first. We'll start with bath and shower, hair and that. Um, I've got this in the merch box. Um, and this is... Um, Har Harmerman 
Hamaman body mud um, by Rituals and it's a purifying Rasol clay and refreshing eucalyptus. This is really nice. Um, got 70 ml in the bottle and a little goes a long way and it's like oh, it's so strong it's like the eucalyptus just hits you straight in the face but it's it's like a mud um, I'll see if I can just show you there we go it's like waiting for a kettle to boil I don't know if you can see um, so you've got this like mud and it's got all like tiny little little scrubby bits in um, and what you're supposed to do is put it on your arms dry and then leave it on your arms or whatever part of the body you're doing and leave it on for five minutes and then go in the shower and then scrub and rinse off. The only thing I would say is that where do you sit if you completely cover your body in this mask for five minutes? Where do you sit for them five minutes because you're covered in it? So, anyway just using this as a scrub on my arms and my legs and it is gorgeous it's really really lovely so that's a definite definite thumbs up from me um i'm still using my foam cool from soap and glory it's the same bottle and no it's not because i don't wash i do wash it's because it lasts so long and this just it's a very beautiful smell, but your skin, I mean, it's lovely because once I've used my scrub um, and I put this on afterwards, um, it just leaves your skin feeling really, really lovely. Um, I'm still using the same conditioner and shampoo as what I have been, um, but you have to excuse this because I've obviously been in the shower and it's got a little bit. Where we are, our water is horrible. It's just full of calcium. It's full of lime scale. It's just horrible. So this has been in my shower for a couple of weeks and it's got lime scale all over it and it's not because i'm scuzzy or dirty it's just purely because of the water so anyway this is an argan oil hydrating hair mask and this come from b m and i think it was one pound or two pounds um it's a beautiful beautiful mask that you put on your hair after you've washed your hair after you've conditioned if if you're going to condition um and oh god my nose you can either leave it on um, and go to bed in it and then rinse it off the next day or you can leave it on for like five ten minutes and then rinse before you then get out of the shower this stuff is amazing um i really love it hydrating it's certainly hydrating it just leaves my hair feeling so silky so soft so manageable i really like this um and this is going to be given an absolute 10 out of 10 um, I can't tell you um, who it's made by because it doesn't developed in, in the UK and manufactured by PRC Speed Marketing um, it doesn't say anything other than that but yeah it's it's really really nice really good really recommend that so yeah okay um on to makeup i don't know why i brought that down um okay so makeup it's quite a bit to show you um it's quite a bit to show you that's good and quite a bit to show you that isn't so good first thing i'm going to show you is lash princess by essence um which i picked up at wilco and I mean, this is really cheap. I think it's like three pounds eighty. Um, this is amazing. It's like one of the cheapest mascaras that I've ever used, and it's one of the best mascaras that I've ever used. There's a pink, there's a green, which I've got, and there's also an orange. Um, I've got all three, but this one is just—it's just out there. It's just just gorgeous. Um, and it really makes your your lashes stand out. It volumizes them. It just it, it's just it's just amazing. It's just amazing, and I absolutely love this. And I'm thinking, God, I've missed out for so long. While everybody's been going on about it, and I haven't used it, 
missed out so long and I've been reaching for this every single day I haven't reached for another mascara um, which do you know what if that is going to be the case then that's going to be brilliant because he's just so goddamn cheap absolutely love it absolutely love it it's brilliant next item I've got is the makeup revolution um, and this is the smoky eye um, waterproof eyeliner um, I've been using this virtually every day um, for the last five weeks um, it's it's great I mean it is just so pigmented and so smooth I mean it's, it's just so creamy as well and so black I really like that it's just fabulous and the lovely thing is you can smoke it out um, under your eye but it's great I mean I have found that um, you put it on um, when I first started using it I noticed that there was a lot of drop um, it would drop under my eyes but I found that a lot of waterproof ones actually do that a lot they do drop but I have noticed as time's gone on that it doesn't happen so much so and, and it's not the well it could be the mascara I suppose that dropped and because now I've changed mascaras it's not happening I don't honestly know but at the moment I can honestly say hand on my heart that it's doing an absolutely terrific job and it's a really good price at £2.50 it's like you know you can't you can't go wrong with that it's just it's brilliant and I really like it um, another product that I am using at the moment which I love and I got kind of got on the bandwagon a little bit late with this um, it's the Freedom Brow Promade um, in Ebony and I really like these little little pots of course they're not a dupe for anything are they like from the States from like oh now would it be Beverly Hills in the States by any chance um, this is great I mean I've been again use 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 and I've hardly even dented into this um, and I find that it's really good for my eyebrows they stay in place all bloody day they really do um, you know and I've also found that if you're made a slight mistake you can easily smudge it before it sets as well um, but yeah that's available at TAM or at Superdrug but that is awesome again like I haven't used another brow product since I've been using this so it's almost like all the, the other ones I've got have been made redundant in a way okie dokie um, we'll go on to eyes um, I'm going to class this as eyes because this is an under eye concealer this is actually a CC cream by L'Oreal it's a visible lift now I'm really sorry guys for those of you in the UK you can't get hold of this over here this is a product that I bought when we were in the States um, I absolutely I'm, I'm flawed by this totally flawed because I love my under eye concealers um, and you know you, I find it very difficult sometimes to find one that will really do the job well and like I, I use my collection all the time I like that and I like my Rimmel um, wake me up one as well when I first started using this I thought oh, it's a bit watery not sure it's actually going to do the job what I like about this is that you have a roller ball in the top which is great so when you put it on it's a nice cooling effect on the eye so if you have got any puffiness under your eyes when you're using it it will take it down because this roller ball being cool does disperse some of the puffiness which is great um, and then if I just show you I mean it looks really quite runny um, but I'll just buff it in gently so I can show you okay so it goes on it goes on really really smooth but what happens is it starts to tighten up this area so and you can actually physically see it happening you'll put it on and you'll see your skin tightening up um, and it's that I mean I don't know if you can see it's tightened up here like it's gone completely smooth 
and it stays put like that all day. Um, and I mean, you know, with my age now, I am really showing my age. Um, and I think one of the reasons being is because I don't wear my glasses a lot, so I'm going, huh? What? <laughs> like, what are you saying? So, and obviously when I do that, I, I do crease up under here. But I have found that that does really help during the day. It kind of smooths these out and sort of like gives me like a little bit of a facelift, a temporary facelift when it goes on. I do find that if I set it then with powder, it kind of makes the, the wrinkles go cha chang They're sort of like, out there, look at me, I'm here. So I try not to use setting powder with this. If I can help it, I will use a setting spray. I haven't brought it down with me, but the makeup, the I Heart makeup setting spray is just like the best makeup spray I have ever used. Um, so I use that, and that's really good because it will dry the product um, and I find that it doesn't really doesn't really crease it's it's splendid stuff so yeah I am a massive fan of this and when I run out of this I am going to be completely and utterly devastated because it is the most amazing amazing thing ever I mean this has got to be like in my top five of all time favorite products it's that good really like that so that is that um also i have bronzer now this again another essence product so again not expensive um this is the luminous matte now i know what you think of luminous matte how can a matte product be luminous and i i hear you i hear you you know because it's like saying she's skinny fat, you know, or it's it's sweet and savoury. Mind boggles, I know, but this stuff is fantastic. It's great. It's a it's a really good bronzer. So if you're like me, where you're very pale skinned, and um, you need a bit of warmth to your face, this stuff is great. I mean, it's buildable. What I like is the outside. Mm -hmm like going around the outside. Does anybody remember that song? The trailer girls go like to go around the outside. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm showing them my age now again, I suppose. Um, but the bronzer is really good. I mean, you could also use this to contour as well if you were really pale. Um, but this is the colour here, and this is the outside colour, which is obviously matte. I don't know if you can see that at all. So it's not it's not massively pigmented, but I like that. And then you have in the centre you have this slightly paler colour which has almost like a sheen to it. Um I don't know if you can really pick that up on camera. But this is in 01 Sunshine, and I, I really like this. I've been using this a lot, a lot, um, and I'm really pleased with it. And I mean, again, it's not expensive. It's probably about £3, which I don't think is expensive for bronzer. So, yeah, absolutely loving that. Um, this stuff, my Nip and Fab foundation, can't go wrong with this. Really like this. It's just like, I love the fact that when you put it on, it gives you a dewy finish um, and you have this a luminosity to your skin. Um, I, I'm not particularly keen on being matte. I like to have a glow about me um, as if I'm hydrated, as if I've just been for a, a brisk walk or a run because, you know, I'm... I'm so fit these days, you know, I'm always going off for a run. In my dreams, maybe, <laughs> I might be. Um, yeah, m the most running that I do is running above. Um, but no, I like to have that, that luminosity to my skin, and I do find that this does give it to me. Um, you'll probably think, that's a really tiny bottle of foundation. It's 30ml, 
So it's the same size as any standards that you get. This is in colour 10, um, which is a pale colour, but it's got a yellow sort of undertone to it. But it's just really nice. It's just, you know, it disappears into the skin really, really nicely. Um, but it gives this luminosity to the skin. It's it's not bad coverage either. I do find that I don't show my redness through it. Um, I do really like it. It's, a, it's lovely. It's, I think, twelve ninety five. Yeah, I think it's twelve ninety five. So it's sort of like top end of um, drugstore price. But I've had, the, I mean, I took this to Florida with me, and we've been back from Florida. Well, we went to Florida three months ago, and I'm, this is still going strong. And there's still quite a lot in there. Pardon me with the hand action, by the way. Um, yeah, so there's still quite a lot in there, um, and I'm still going strong. So I really do like this. It's fabulous. Um. And then also, the other product that I have just, I, I, again, this is probably going to go into my, my top five all-time bests. Um, this is a collection of Prime and Ready um, Illuminate and Setting Powder um, in 01. And as you can see, well loved. What I like about this is it's a setting powder, obviously <laughs> for your skin to set. But there is almost like a pearlescent highlighter glow. I don't know if you can see that. So, once you've got your foundation in place and you've concealed where you need to conceal and then you pop this on, you're left with this beautiful, almost like mother of pearl sheen to your face and it looks really natural it looks beautiful so I mean again I mean look that can can you see here it's just, it's just gorgeous and you've just got this look about you um, and I really like it um, so yeah that's going into one of my all-time top five products along with this because it's just fab I just really like it um, and talking about fab, <laughs> um, we'll talk about nip and fab. So I've got something wet in my bucket. Um, been using this a lot as well. Um, this is the um, nip and fab travel palette um, in 01 light medium. Again, uh, took this to Florida with me and wore this a lot. It's great because you have your contour you have a really nice blush and then you have a highlight um, and to be honest it's it's really good on one of your lazy days where you, you're in a hurry and you just like grab whatever and this is great because you grab this and you've got all three products in here at once so you can just go shoot, 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 and you're done obviously not that quick because if anybody can do their makeup that quick then and they look good they deserve a medal seriously but I do, I think this is wonderful. So, beautiful contour. It's not too dark, which is great for someone who's got pale skin. An absolutely beautiful blush colour, which I really love my peaches. I just think peach is just such a lovely neutral colour that anybody can get away with. And then this beautiful, beautiful satiny highlight. I mean, look at that. Just, isn't that just absolutely amazing? So let's just give these a swatch on my hands. They're not too pigmented in your face. But fab. Absolutely fabulous. So yeah, I've been wearing these one heck of a lot. I really have. Um, they've been a lifesaver actually, especially with Sophia being on holiday. Um, and I don't have as much time to get ready as what I did before because it's like, Mummy! Mummy! Mummy, I want to go to the park. Mummy, I want a sandwich. Mummy, I want a drink. So you're constantly, and you're also tidying up behind them as well. <laughs> you know, I mean, is there any point in doing any housework when they're on holiday? Because you 
do it you turn around and then it looks crap again and you're like really so anyway yeah ideal absolutely ideal really like it did you get that really liked it um then we have these are my last few products of things i like um i'm gonna have to do these two as one product because these are the hd foils from freedom um and you might have seen the video that i've done i've done an, an eye look with some of them and i've done a swatch of every single one of these um and obviously i have my creme brulee in there as well because it's my only magnetic palette so i need to put it somewhere um and i've got these highlighters here as well now these highlighters are just like the bomb the bomb diggity dig now these are just absolutely incredible this is sophisticated um now this is not a highlighter that when you put it on your skin it's going to be like this this is a highlighter that will give you a natural glow um a glow from within they call it um it's very very similar to the strobe palette which i really like um which has the strobe balm in it and it has i believe these two colors in it as well so we've got sophisticated and we have queen um which is more of the champagne -y color um let me just show you so can you see what i mean they're not bling they're not bling bling off your face shiny as a brand new coin they are subtle they are glowy as in inner glow they make you look healthy and then you have this one which is bad habit which is pop off your face really pop off your face i mean like i've literally only just touched it let's give it a nice deep swatch i mean look at that put that on my hand my arm i mean i just think it's just absolutely beautiful um, and that will give you this gorgeous, gorgeous glow. Um, what I'm just going to quickly do is I'm just going to, um, I don't know if you can see very well there, I'm just going to put some of the pink. Oh, on my forehead. I don't know if you can see there is a slight, a slight glow. And then I'll put the beige down my nose. Tell us the end of the day because all my lines are showing up really bad. Um, I don't know if you can see that, but subtle, very subtle. And then obviously, <laughs> you've got the eyeshadows, and they are just amazing. So you get these are all in sets. Um, you get sets of five, five for five pounds, um, and they are so good. I mean, they are so good. Uh, the pigmentation is there, the longevity is there, the blendability is there. I will link down underneath, I will link the swatches um, to all of these shadows and also the look that I've done as well with some of these. Um, so that you can see what they look like because there's so many there i'm not going to swatch them all but they are beautiful i mean i really love this bluey color um yes that's the only problem isn't it with pans um in a magnetic they go round and round and round when you put your finger in them um so yeah these are just gorge gorge darling Gorge. they're gorgeous they are gorgeous and there's the green um which apparently is a good dupe for jacqueline hill palette um so i mean not the greatest swatches in the world because my fingers are filthy but even so they're really good um i absolutely adore them so yeah i will link the videos to these down below so that you can watch them in full if you are interested 
Um, and then the final item that I have is another palette, I'm afraid, um, and it is the, um, the Fire Vixen palette by MUA, which is just so nice. There are so many warm colours in this. I mean, like, I've also done a, a video to this as well, like full swatches, um, and also an eye look as well. So I will also link that down below. And these grey colours are so good for transition. Um, and to be fair, you'd see anything grey and, and orange and really. But grey and pink really does go together well. And they do blend really nicely. Um, so yeah, that's another palette that I have worn quite a lot. Quite a lot. So, so I'm just looking at my face and I just, I just, oh, my brush that was in the bottom of my bucket is really wet. It's filthy, but it's really wet. I don't know why that is. Oh, another product, but this is actually quite good because there's two products here that are different shades um, and different outcomes. Um, I've got two NYX pigments that you've probably seen me do months and months ago, the videos of these. Um, this one here, which is Stunner, lives up to its name. I mean, this is just beautiful. Um, I wear this a lot over the top of an eye look, which is really warm. Um, and it is really pretty, really pretty. It's easy to get your brush in and put it onto your eyelids. Um, and it gives this beautiful sparkle. It looks really gorgeous. And I also got the Vegas Baby, which I thought, you know, would be good for the inner corner of the eye. Now, the problem that you've got is it's so chunky it's really difficult to get through the little holes really difficult so like you've got a tiny amount in there and then when you do swatch I mean it looks pretty like this but when you put it on your skin it's it's very patchy so I just although I absolutely love this one this one I kind of think, nah, I don't think that's any good. I am really disappointed in this particular one. This one I really love. I just think, yeah, it's beautiful. It's a lovely colour. Um, it's like the texture of it is really good. It's really finely milled. But this one is very chunky and just doesn't work. This doesn't work as well at all. Um, also, you may have seen that I've done videos of some sponges that I got from Poundland. And if you've probably seen the video already, you'll know that I did not like these at all. They just didn't do what they were meant to do. Um, they didn't, well, they were just like useless. Totally and utterly useless. And I said, Right, I'm going to put them in the bin. I have kept hold of them um, for in case of an emergency, in case something goes wrong. Like, you know, um, I don't know, perhaps I need to pad my bra out or something. Um, but, yeah, I don't want to get rid of them just yet. But, yeah, not keen. Not keen at all. Don't spend a pound on them, they're not worth the money. This absolutely breaks my heart because I thought this was going to be absolutely amazing and I've seen so many videos that say that this product is amazing um, and it's the e.l.f. highlighter brush but you know what? It's turt. It's just, I can't... I've tried and tried and tried with this to like pick up some product um, and put it on my cheek and it just doesn't work. It just doesn't work for me at all. Um, it has a tendency to make the highlight a very, so I'm just trying to use it just to see if I can blend this out, see if there is a use to it. Um, 
it will make a highlighter extremely powdery whereas if I use my Real Techniques setting brush it will dip in and spread the colour and blend really really nicely whereas this you put it in the brush and no you don't put it in the brush you put the brush in the product and the product is very very powdery um, and then once you've done that you then can't get the product to sit on your face from the brush um, and I don't know if it's because there's a fault with this brush at all because what I have found is that it's tapered one side it's like really I don't know it's just like really misshaped and I don't know if that's a fault I don't know if it's meant to be like that on one side um, but I have tried always I've tried this side that side upside down I've even tried this side no I haven't really but do you know what I mean I've tried everything I can to get this to work and it just won't it's just you know I mean I'm trying to blend in my highlighter now um, it's taken the severity of the shine off but yeah I mean I'm, I'm so disappointed with this I really do not recommend this at all um, and when I wrote a review of this I think I put down that it was as useful as a chocolate fire guard or something along those lines it was that good not didn't like that at all um another item that is really crap um is actually an essence eyeshadow and i am so disappointed about this i have actually um decided i'm going to take this back this is one of my must-haves and this is in 06 raspberry frosting now when i first saw this i thought oh my god this is gorgeous there wasn't um anything to swatch but I mean look how pretty that looked isn't that just beautiful until you stick your finger in it and swatch it look what's underneath it reminds me of a fake where they've tried to put like an overspray onto the product to make you think that's what the product looked like and then you're left with this like pink mud underneath um, and I just think it's just rubbish you know it's so deceiving why do that what is the point um, so yeah I have actually been in touch with the shop that I bought this from and sort of said look you know I, I think this is horrible and they've said yeah no problem just bring it in we'll swap it over for something else so yeah that's a no no um, also again this pains me to say this as well um, highlight perfect shimmer perfection shimmer from MUA spotlight sheen this is meant to be sheen and I've got to say I had high hopes for this I mean it's you know it looks nice in the pan I love the packaging I love the fact that it's as big as your face um, but when it comes to the actual product that's meant to be a shimmer I can't see any shimmer on there at all. It's just, it's a matte. Um, it's, there's just nothing to it. And I don't understand why they've called it a shimmer when there is clearly, there's more shimmer on my mascara than there is in this product. And I just find it highly, highly sad. Because... You know, when you've got something that says shimmer perfection, you expect it to have a little bit of glow about it. And there just isn't any. None at all. So yeah, that's gone in the shit pile. Crap pile. Um, also, Wet n Wild Illuminating Palette. Um, and this is in Catwalk Pink. I, have tr I mean, this I thought was absolutely beautiful when I bought it. But I have tried and I have tried and I have tried and I have found it really chunky um, and I just don't I just don't particularly like it I'm actually running out of skin here to swatch 
I found that it's really chunky and patchy um, and it just it was a letdown especially when you hear about how fantastic Wet n Wild is it was just a complete not a letdown for me um, and one of the girls that I watched, Anwen, she bought one of these off of eBay and she had the same problem and I thought oh, perhaps it's because it's fake, perhaps it's because it's not the right one but this is definitely not fake because I bought this from Florida I bought it from a Walmart so it is a genuine product um, but I just yeah it's meant to be a mega glow no mega glow about that if there, if it is mega glow I dread to think what Matt looked like that's that poor old Matt again what's he been up to you see what I mean it's just it's just a disappointment okay see nothing nothing at all complete and utter disappointment um this product which i really really i had high hopes of this um bearing in mind how much i love this i thought this was going to be amazing and this is the concealer by nip and fab and i've got this in 10 as well which is the same color supposedly as the foundation it's a lot more yellow than the foundation um and i've found that it's not as good as what i thought it would be um, it dries too quick. Cup of tea? Yes, please. Not as good as what I thought it, I thought it would be. <laughs> Go away. <laughs> this is why I do videos during the day when neither of them are here. Um, yeah, I mean, this, like, if you put it underneath your foundation, it's not so bad you can work with it a little bit but over the top of your foundation it doesn't blend I just find that it doesn't blend in um, it's too yellow for the foundation that you've got even though they are matched up by using the same number um, they're just completely different and I've used it once or twice and I'm like oh, I can't be bothered because it's just it's just such hard work and you don't get the effect. I've found that, in all honesty, that if I apply this on my foundation, it then takes the foundation off while I'm trying to blend it. And that's the honest truth. You know, I don't like putting products down unless there's a good reason to, and I think that this is a perfectly good reason to put it down because it just doesn't bloody work. And then final product, and again, I'm really... I can't believe I'm doing this because I thought I was going to love this and when I first bought this I did really really like it um hello did you want something no just to make me look like I'm talking to myself it's a nice backdrop it's a nice backdrop isn't it do you like the lines goes well with the lines on my face <laughs> um yeah I've got the elf um and this is the oil free foundation um, in porcelain with the sunscreen in no sunscreen not sunscreen no. oh. um, yeah this is their popular foundation um, in porcelain which the colour <laughs> didn't sound very good did it the colour is beautiful um, it is an absolute spot-on match for my skin um, which is a very very rare thing and it also leaves a beautiful beautiful hydrated look to my skin and I mean it looks lovely so you think why why is it in my rubbish well, there's two reasons number one it doesn't matter how much of this stuff I put on I can still see the red on my cheeks and I can still see like blemishes and whatever and I can put it on I can set it and then put it on and set it again and put some more on obviously I don't 
because you end up like with so much on you you can't move because it's almost like you've had Botox and you're just stuck there and when I say set up I don't mean with powder I'm talking about setting spray um but you can still see this I think it's beautiful if you have beautiful skin already with no blemishes and no flaws. Unfortunately, my skin is just covered in them. I mean, I am a walking floor. I'm a walking floorboard. There you go. I'm a walking floorboard. The finish of it is stunning. I mean, you know, like, it's so pretty that it's, it's just beautiful. And you sort of like turn and look and you have this, oh lovely, thank you, in the front room because I shall be finished in a minute. Thank you. He's a good tea boy. Um, yeah, the finish of it is really gorgeous. But, he's <laughs> just the fact that, yeah, on the few parts of my skin that are flawless, like my forehead, chin, that's it on me. It looks beautiful, but yeah, I mean it does actually say, <laughs> that these are the instructions right for foundation. Directions, apply generously 15 minutes before the sun exposure and reapply at least every two hours. Who is going to reapply foundation every two hours? Seriously. I rest my case. And my other gripe <laughs> which at the time never even dawned on me I probably used it about five or six times <laughs> and I was like oh, where's it all gone it's empty there's nothing left and I mean like it like I don't know if you can see in there there's like nothing left when I looked at how much there was in the bottle there's 20 mil and I thought Cheeky bug is right, so nip and fab is 30 mil, and this is 20 mil. So you're getting a third less product than you are for this, but you're having to put on a lot more to get the look that you want. And if you're unlucky like me, you're never going to get the look that you want anyway. I can just imagine it, you know, sort of like putting a whole bottle of. Think back to the video of Sophia doing my makeup and she put a whole bottle of foundation on my face. And my It's basically that and you'd still see the redness underneath. So, yeah, it's going... I mean, as much as I think it does look... The finish looks pretty. It's no good having a pretty finish if you can still see the rubbish underneath. So there you go. That brings me to the end of this very long video. I do apologise about how long this video is, but... You know, you haven't had one of these in a long, long time. Um, so, yeah, there you go. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much um, for hopping by, hopping by, popping by, and stopping and playing this. If you've got to the end of the video, then brilliant. Thumbs up you. You deserve a medal. Um, if you don't know me, please subscribe. I do different videos all the time. Um, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Go along, give me some of um, some of the other videos a bit of love, um, and I'll see you again in the next video. And I will remember to link those videos in. They'll probably be in the information bar at the side where you press the little I up there, and it will have a drop down menu, and that will recommend. I will put them videos in there for you. All right. Um, so yeah, thank you very much for watching. Love you all loads. Take care for now and I'll see you soon. Bye.